delicious spice rubbed New York strip served with salty potatoes and the most amazing mushrooms. Incredible steak, bit of a chef's dream because it's one of the most succulent, one of the most tasteful, and more importantly, one of the most difficult to cook. First off, the spice rub. The rub is sweet, it's bitter, it's smoky, it's spicy. It's made with coffee, chipotle. And the secret behind this rub is just pressing it into the steak. I cannot stress how important it is to let those steaks sit out in the kitchen for at least 10 minutes before you cook them. If it's ice cold and so frigid, there's no flavor in that steak whatsoever. From there, hot pan. We're gonna sear it, baste it with garlic, rosemary and thyme, and then take it out and let it rest. I'm a firm believer in cooking it quickly and letting it rest long. Get that pan nice and hot, touch of oil in, because I want to sear this steak and make it sort of caramelized and literally toast all those spices inside that New York strip. As you start to see that first little flicker of smoke, steak up and into the pan she goes. Thyme, rosemary in, in with the garlic. I want all that seasoning in there as well. If we get this right, it's cooked within three and a half to four minutes. Quick sear, lift, and look at that. Flip it over, and then in comes the butter. Beautiful. Turn the gas off, tilt the pan, and baste. And this is the secret behind cooking this steak at room temperature. It makes a huge difference. From there, literally out, and let that rest. As it rests, spoon on that flavorsome butter. Let that sit there to rest. These are fingling potatoes. They've been blanched for three minutes in boiling water, left to cool down, almost steamed, so they get a little bit sort of fluffy. I've got great flavor in this pan from the caramelized New York strip. A teaspoon of olive oil in, and what we do now is get these potatoes and put them flesh side down. I want to sort of rub all that flavor from the bottom of that pan. You want the potatoes to sort of stick to that pan. That side of the potato gets really nice and crispy and it's got that smoky flavor. I want to take the resting juices from my steak and pour that over my potatoes. That flavor there is incredible. Turn the gas down and then see what happens when I turn these over. Look at them, beautiful. See that? That flavor in there is extraordinary. And then finally, before they come out, finish them with a touch of butter. They are beautiful. Ooh la la. Take those out and look what's happened to them. These gorgeous sauté potatoes. Absolutely incredible. And then just spoon it over. Mm. Now, portobello mushrooms goes brilliantly well with the steak and king oysters. How do we slice them? Down and then literally turn that around and slice. When they're this small, find a flat surface on the mushroom and then down. The thinner you slice them, the more flavor. The portobello mushrooms, the big ones, slice in half, turn it around and slice it down. Let the knife do the work. Olive oil in first. Mushrooms go in. Try and keep them nice and flat across the circumference of the cast iron. Each mushroom, 30% of it is water, so you need a hot pan to saute the mushroom. There's a big difference in taste between a boiled mushroom and a sauteed mushroom. We're gonna add shallots and garlic. Only once the mushrooms have been sauteed. Mushrooms take a lot longer to cook. That noise is the water evaporating out of the mushroom. Hot pan, high heat and get rid of that water. And the flavor left in here is incredible. Gas down, shallots I'm gonna sprinkle over there. Get a garlic over. And then these little babies, they're little thyme flowers. That's gonna lift the mushrooms and make them so fragrant. Sprinkle the thyme flowers over, make a little well in the center first, touch of butter in. Now, give that pan a great shake. Mushrooms out. Wow, that is beautiful. Now for the exciting part. The bit that chefs love, plating. Look at the shape of the fingerlings. Try and place the fingerlings literally almost bedding into each other. So get the little bends. Your mushrooms underneath your potatoes. Let them sort of cascade onto the plate. From there, one of America's favorite sauces, a smoked barbecue sauce. That's gonna go on the bottom and literally sit at the base of those mushrooms. Clear off the garlic and the thyme. Don't slice the steak too thin. You slice it too thinly, it dries out. Lift that up, keep the steak intact, sit it on top of that sauce. Open that up, and just see how pink that is. And then finally, take those resting juices that were left on your tray. That is amazing flavor. And then just glaze all the way over. And there you have the most amazing spice rub. New York strip with sooty fingerlings and stunning mushrooms. Mmm.